Or if he caused himself to be punished in the hereafter, why do you want to, and you don't like him, and he's and you hate him, and you're, you're, you're upset. Why do you want to still accompany them in the hereafter in their punishment? Why? You know, he spoke about you. Like if he spoke about you, give him a gift. Because he's given you a hasanat, if you believe in Allah. Another excuse they use. Oh, we're just having fun, man. Don't get serious, honestly. We're just having fun. Having fun? You know how many people have had fun and caused, Wallahi al-Azim, have caused uh, divorces between husband and wife? Children running away from homes because of that fun? Yeah. Allah Prophet said a person may say a word, not caring about it, will make them fall into hellfire 70 seasons. Some other excuses. Here's a common one. You like this one. You hear someone talking about something, so brother, why are you talking about them? They say, I'll say it to his face. I'll say it to his face. So what? He's saying, so then he's allowed to gossip. Yeah, Akhi, if you'll say it to his face, then why are you saying it behind his back? Go and say it to his face, but don't say it behind his back. If you're so courageous to say it in his face, say it in his face. So, yeah, what's it, it, it's contradictory. I'll say it to his face. Oh, I say it to his face. Say it to his face, don't say it to us. Because we're listening and we've shared that gossip with you. Say it to his face. Another one. Don't worry, he's just my brother. He's just my sister. It's from my mother and father. I'm allowed to gossip about my brother and sister. SubhanAllah. They have a stronger bond than the normal brothers and sisters in Islam. So why should you gossip about your flesh and blood? <laughs> Ruin their reputation? By ruining yours? As one of my, my uncle once gave me this example. He said, look, when you gossip about your own family, it's like putting your head up and then spinning. Where does the spin come back? <laughs> anyway, it comes back into your face. Some of them, they say, oh, he's just a kid. Where in the Sunnah did I ever allow you to gossip about children? Where in the Sunnah did I ever special and exempt you from gossiping about Sunnah? When he said gossip, it's about every Muslim. Especially the children. Why gossip about the kids? You know sometimes when you gossip about the kids, the parents take offense and say, as if you're talking about the mother or father. Oh, look how dirty his face is. Oh, how cute. It's as if you're saying, oh, how cute, mother. How, oh, how cute you make your son dirty. The mother's going to take offense and she's going to hate you. Uh, another excuse they use. Man, I didn't say anything. I was just listening. I've I, I done nothing to do with it. Listening? Listening is part of it. That means you like what you listen. Why don't you do anything about it if you don't like or you're not part of it? Huh? What is our duty therefore in Islam? My brothers and sisters, our duty number one, if we hear a person who is gossiping, is to warn the gossiper of the command of Allah and the punishment of Allah. We must, you're in a group, you have to speak out, ya akhwan. You can't let them go away. You say to them, ya akhi, ya akhti, this is haram. This is haram. Allah has said this and that. If they ignore you, then you have to defend that victim. You say, no, that victim I know so many good things about him. And if they still don't listen to you, then you must leave the gathering. Allah says this in the Quran, حَتَّى يَخُوضُ فِي حَدِيثٍ غَيْرٍ You have to leave the gathering until they go into a different discussion altogether. This is a must. So what do you do if you've gossiped about someone in the past? Number one, you have to try to ask them for forgiveness. Now if you are unable to ask them for forgiveness, if you think that this is going to escalate things even more, then the scholars said that you must undo the harm which you have done. First of all, undo it. So, for example, go back to that group and say to them, what I said is, is, is not right. And you should start to build the reputation of the person whom you victimized. So you will say good things about them, which inshallah should cover up for what you have done. Brothers, lastly, inshallah, and I conclude with this, please pay attention before the event.